Well, a very good evening from the London Irish Centre here in Camden Square. It's been two and a half months of blood, sweat and tears for tonight's competitors. For many, the first time they have ever set foot in a competitive boxing ring. A hugely admirable venture from some of the city's ordinary folk. Tonight is their opportunity to do something that is anything but ordinary. A 600-strong crowd packs the main ballroom at this fantastic venue in the heart of the city. Friends, family and colleagues alike sit amongst the crowd. The glitz and glam of London's nightlife combined effortlessly with the grittiest and toughest of sporting disciplines. 13 fights scheduled on tonight's bill, so buckle in for a big night of boxing here in London. This is Battle Royale, this is White Collar Boxing. Inside the ring tonight is the WCB announcer Peter Lowe to bring in the fighters. Fabio Esposito, 31 years of age, hails from Bedford. He's a private security contractor in the Middle East. This is his second fight, lost the first one on points. Just said he was a little bit overwhelmed by the experience. Perhaps nerves got the better of him, but tonight he feels much more prepared. Has learnt usually from the training camp. Spent a lot of time alone out in Afghanistan and Iraq in the Middle East. And then he tags on to the back of the training camps run by Scott Borthwick and the team. But he said he's made improvements with technique, movement, and he said his mental strength is, has improved uh, tenfold. He uh, knows Bob Tander, his opponent. He's had a couple of fights, said he's strong, but he's not concerned about him. He's going to keep calm, move and box, wait for his opportunity, but enter his opponent. Three years, his junior, Bob Tander. He's a personal trainer from Walthamstow. Good friend of uh, Scott Baldwick, who twisted his arm to uh, get him to come and get involved here. Got a great physique in good shape, is uh, Bob Tander. He said he's sharper and bitter. This is his third fight. And you believe two fights, two wins. And excitingly for us, two knockouts, both coming by way of the right hand, hence the name Bob Right Hander Vander. So expect fireworks between these two tonight. Scheduled for three two minute rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you at the scene, fighting out of the red corner all the way from Bedford. Please make some noise for Fabs, the contractor. Bob Thander and Fabio Esposito to meet in the centre of the ring for three two-minute rounds. So Thander just circling to his right-hand side. Esposito pouring out that jab. Quick, speedy hands from Thander, but Esposito light on his feet. Been working hard out in the Middle East in his solo training caps. It's a jab. Momentarily just dislodged the... Uh, the headgear. And, uh, while Thander's uh, sent to the neutral corner, Esposito's uh, corner man himself will just try and correct that. So it comes forward again. Thander just keeping him at range with the jab. Throws the left hook out. Comes off the gloves of Esposito. Good uh, bit of sparring so far. It's a technical affair, a bit of fencing between these two fighters, both trying to adjust the range. Nice right hand from Thander again, he's dislodged the, the headgear and will be sent to the neutral corner.
Just the uh, new Olympic rules with regards to amateur boxing. We'll see how guards removed completely as of this year. Obviously, talk of uh, whether or not that will be to the detriment of fighters fighting in multiple contests with cuts and so forth going into fights just one or two days apart. But at this level, of course, the added protection that uh, the head guards add is crucial to uh, the safety of the fighters as Tanda comes in and proves exactly why with a big left hook and yet again the head guard of Esposito just coming loose. Tanda looks very frustrated, unable to uh, get momentum. His corner man telling him just that, saying don't get frustrated, keep your cool, keep boxing, keep doing what you're doing. His uh, head guard now readjusted and Esposito comes forward. Tanda going for a jab to the body and then Hooking with the left off it, and Esposito landed a good left of his own there. Tanda just waiting for that opening. He knows he's got the power for a, a one-punch uh, finish. So he just caught uh, Esposito a little bit low there. I don't think it was intentional. Hit him so low, it was on the thigh. So that eventually goes for the end of the round one after two or three stoppages for... The readjustment of the headgear. Well, there's certainly no signal of uh, the nerves that Esposito said he felt in his first contest. He looks much more confident, much more relaxed. Certainly doesn't look overawed by the occasion. And that will go uh, a long way to fueling his confidence if he has any future fights. Uh, Bob Thander, good opening round from him. Perhaps frustrated that he couldn't uh, get any momentum going. With the uh, constant stoppages to readjust the headgear of uh, Esposito, but showed some good skills in that opening round. He'll certainly be looking, as the fight progresses, for an opportunity to land that big right hand. 10 second marker has been given to the referee. Seconds out has been called. They're really trying to tighten down that headgear of Esposito so there's no chance of a, a repeat of the first round. round the bell goes for the beginning of round two. Tanda starts off with quick jab. Just trying to circle left and right, keep Esposito moving. Good shot from Tanda there. But Esposito keeping the centre of the ring. Just watching his man circle from right to left, then left to right. It's Tanda who now comes forward. Good right hand from him. And Esposito perhaps feeling the power for the first time in this fight. Jab to the body from Tanda again. work from Tanda putting some pressure on Esposito but forward comes the, the Bedford man again comes in with a lunging left hook Tanda saw it early Come to swoop his head down low and underneath it comes forward with a jab of his own left hook from Esposito after a quiet 30 seconds between the two and Tanda took it very well indeed not so much as a flinch nonetheless landed solidly and a good finish to that round from Esposito may have got his way, got his way back into this a 
Dare I say it, Tander looking a little bit despondent going back to his corner after that round. He's being frustrated by his opponent. Bell sounds for the final round. This encounter between uh, Fabio Esposito and Bob Thander. Thander with a jab to the body. And both men probably feeling that this is anyone's for the taking. And thus have got to put in conclusive final round for the judges. So Esposito comes in with a jab there. Thander, a nice right to the body. Will he be looking for that big money shot? The big right hand. Or will he be looking to box? Keep this one at range on the outside. Four oh, comes Esposito, double jab, both landed. Taking the centre of the ring, nice right hand over the top, avoided the right hand counter in return, but nice jab from Tander and then a bit of work to the body as well. Esposito now feels like he's done some good work, going to try and keep on the move. Eats a jab and a bit of blood starting to come from the nose of Esposito and he takes a left hook. Fight still very much in the balance. Tander comes in, stiff jab, looking for that right hand. Hasn't thrown it very much, Bob Thander, given his reputation. Right on the bell there, Esposito landed a big right hand, apologises for that one, but two tired men after three competitive rounds, anyone's to call, you would say. Well, if he has got the victory, then certainly not been as conclusive as his first two contests, Bob Dander. Both of those finishing in a knockout. And Esposito given a Great account of himself tonight and any nerves that were present in his first contest have been completely dispelled after that one. He'll be happy with his performance tonight regardless of the result. But we await the judges and ultimately the announcer's verdict.
So Bob Sander has taken the victory. Certainly Fabio Esposito gave him more than a thing or two to think about over those three rounds. Great contest between two real students of the sport in there. They've done the sport justice, they've done each other justice. But it is Bob Tander that comes out with the victory. He will go home tonight victorious. I'm sure it won't be the last we've seen of him or indeed Fabio Esposito. But Bob Tander, the winner of that one.